He's done his own country, and and it should be done. This doesn't need to continue. New tonight, the wife of a Navy lieutenant calling for her husband's release after he was transferred back to U.S. custody from Japan. Welcome to 2 News at 6 tonight. I'm Mark Cabell. And I'm Heidi Hatch. Thanks for being with us. Lieutenant Ridge Alcona spent nearly 18 months in prison in Japan after a deadly car crash there. But now he's back in the United States. Still not a free man. Our Daniel Woodruff spoke with his wife and joins us live with the story. Daniel, you've been following this since the inception. What's the latest? Yeah, this is really a frustrating time for the family. They want Lieutenant Ridge Alconis home by Christmas. They really thought that it might have happened by now, but nearly a week after he was returned to the United States, there's still no sign of that. As Navy Lieutenant Ridge Alconis sits in a federal detention facility in Los Angeles, his family waits. Before Christmas, he could be home. Uh, that is all within the U.S. government's control. But the fact he's still behind bars is unacceptable, says his wife, Brittany Alconis. Even now that he's on U.S. soil, we're still allowing a foreign nation to dictate how we treat our service members. And it's, it's pretty deplorable. Lieutenant Alconis was transferred to U.S. custody last week from Japan after spending nearly 18 months imprisoned there for hitting and killing two people in a car crash. He and his family said it was an accident caused by a medical emergency and they paid restitution, but he was still sentenced to three years in prison. Since he arrived in California, his wife and children have been able to visit. They were able to hug him for the first time. <laughs> we get more time with him, but at the end of the day, we still went home without him. And so that's the same. Brittany believes the U.S. government is trying to appease Japan by keeping her husband locked up. She also worries the legal process could drag out months or even longer. Are you optimistic at all that he might be home in the next few days before Christmas, as your family has hoped? I don't know. Common sense says, why not end it now? But at the same time, it's out of my hands. And there, from what I've seen, there doesn't seem to be the, the desire to move this along very quickly. Now, I did reach out today to the U.S. Parole Commission, which is handling this case now and has the power to determine the next steps, but I never heard back from anybody there. Meantime, Senator Mike Lee of Utah is urging President Biden to allow Lieutenant Alconis to maybe be placed on house arrest or even commute the sentence entirely so that he can be with his family for Christmas. Live tonight, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.